God, you RKO the kid already, Shark! About to die. Yeah, isn't it great? Isn't it just amazing? That was Hello, worth was awesome. I'm Larry You're tuned into the NFL on EA Sports. The Colts continue to move through the season and want to find a way to secure win number three on the year. It's the Texans going up against the Colts. Thank you, Larry. We welcome you to the heart of the Hoosier State in the circle city of Indianapolis, Indiana and Lucas Oil Stadium. I mean, we were talking the about winning and shit like that here as it well. Is. It's unlike any other in sport as both teams made their way out of the tunnel. These folks cool. are fired up. As so, guys are I question your sexuality the then, Houston Bill. Houston Texans and the Indianapolis Colts. But you are done with stupidity in the chat when we say you're done. They go play action here on first down. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Indianapolis moving the chains there on a gain of 12. And he stopped immediately there. Officially no gain on the play and it's second down. Well, they know how to protect the pass, but sometimes cornerbacks, they can also stop the run, can't they? Is that what we call a complete corner? Yeah, because we're so used to these guys just being defenders in the pass game. How about the guys who can come up and make the tackles? That's what we just saw there for no gain, too. So they're still at the original line of scrimmage here. Second down and 10. Out of the gun, Locke. He's going to hit his man out of the backfield, complete. And he takes this one down all the way near the 30. Give him 30 yards there. Probably mean to jump in on you, partner, but they didn't waste any time getting downfield, did they? I mean, a nice big play there. Three plays, three successful plays in plus territory. Now this defense on its heels a bit. It seems like they had something targeted there, doesn't it? It's like, okay, we've got a matchup. We are coming right out of the gate. Let's go ahead and get right to it. Well run, this is Robert Turbin. And he's going to get this one down to the 30. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. Well, he was looking for some running room, and there wasn't a whole lot of it there on that play. I think he was lucky to get a couple of yards out of it because those defenders, they were rallying to the football pretty quickly. Second down, here's Locke. And left side here, it's Graham. And a big hit there as he runs into a brick wall at the 21-yard line. The passing game for the Colts finding its stride. Another first down. Side. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. 
It's another 10 yards on that one and another first down. Charles, they won last week despite him not running the ball well. They told us need to get oh, him going. Runs like that help. And they talked to us about leaning on him because, as you noted, last Why? week they didn't have care. to. Still Nick. won the ball game. They leaned on other people to give him the yardage that they needed. But they really want him to be that guy. And that's what they're doing early in this game. And after the play on the ground, that brings up second down here. This connection sucks. <laughs> Come on now. How the fuck did this fucking running back just outpower fucking JJ goddamn Watt? We use the word relentless a lot with guys who are aggressive on the field. In this case, it really fits, doesn't it? How about his ability to break tackles and his feet never stop moving? And who might and who might that be, Billy? What a fucking power to that one. About the three yard line. Only a yard on the pickup oh there. The rage is real. J.J. Watt makes another tackle Man, there. J.J. Watt, 97 straight. And let's face it, if that's and a going fucking to get rookie running, ball, running back overpowers him. Against him like, come on now. Or, yeah, you better find a way to go around J.J. Watt, which isn't easy to do. It's really not because you got to try everything. Can you go around him? Can you go by And he takes this one in for a Colts touchdown. Jimmy Graham, his first touchdown on the year. And the Colts take it right down and score on the opening drive. Nick Folk for the point after. That's what they claim. And this is good to make it 7 0 Indy. Right in. And they didn't really have time to play with the engine they for real. And send this one away. And, yeah, because they had to shoot one in that fucking long shot. That's fielded in the end zone. And got the pitch. And the decision to bring it out yeah, will cost him about five yards pass. as he'll get this only back to the 20. Stupid fucks to play mutt or how they make their the majority of their money. Flex round, flex round. And some changes here as the D line separates some. A first carry for the Clemson man, Wayne Goldman. And he'll get only a couple up to the 22. Well, if the coaching staff's doing a good job upstairs, they'll file oh, that, away what they just saw from the defense right there. They sold out to stop that running play. I'd say keep that in mind. They want to try that again. Yeah, go play action, hit them over the top. Competing. Results in 35 yards. Damn it. <sighs> Wait a minute, I'm on by in this league. So here we go, first and ten now. Gorman. And very little there. He might have gotten a yard. Yeah, I think he got a yard to the 41. Nice job by that defensive front there to hold him to a short gain on first down. What a seed, I must say. Yeah, only getting one yard. There was no room to run. All right, so he wants one year. He wants one year. He wants Who's three. That? He wants You're talking two. about uh, Pop? Or I'm ready now for second five. and nine. Ohio! Ohio! 
No, X Dog. Oh, are you talking about S and B? Oh, I don't know. G I know GFL X Dog is in the Texans passing game in rhythm right now. And GGFL. I like how they work the tight end on a nice little under um, route there. And if you're going to give him that much if space, he had a he's not even going to catch the football. He's going to run away from me a little bit. And that's exactly what he just what? did there, S picking up extra yardage. S and B. Well, there's only two conferences, though. <laughs> the toughest conference in the league. As a team. So, I have, I can only resign one guy. Who do, who do you resign? Todd Gurley or Aaron Donald? Need to get the playoff quickly. Goldman will run it. And they've got it in the red zone now, down at about the 19. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. If these kinds of lanes are available, you have to feel like he's going to have a pretty big game on the ground. Yeah, you can tell early on he's got a little burst in his step, and that's a big I have. Right I there on first down. <laughs> sure. The first update now from a game going on in Cleveland, and that is now a two touchdown lead for the Browns in that game. Remember to keep an eye on the ticker, of course, at the bottom of your screen for updates on that game and others around the NFL. I have to let one walk, but at the end of the season, but I can try to go grab him back and bid on him. Partner, we know today's NFL is really built around the guy throwing the football. I don't know how the trade cap will work. Still pay dividends because they can take their toll on a defense, and they can add up as the game goes Running along. Back. You control the clock, you control the ball, and that way you often control the you game. You think the defensive tackle will be more expensive this time than a running back? Well, yeah, the highest five salaries averaged out. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and it's Texans football as we get going in quarter number two. But I won't be able to franchise him. No, I got money, but I'm in a league that you can, if you have multiple guys asking for five or six years, six on you guys, you can sign one and let one walk. You have, you can't franchise. That's that stupid OMFL league. Yes. But they'll look, but, fucking 12 yards back. But they'll edit his years to four because you can only resign some to four. So you gotta choose one. What the fuck was that? And whatever money, what money you give them is that the money they get for four years. Wow, I finally ran into a glitch on the fucking screenplay. Now Jake Elliott for the field goal try. Hmm. On the right hash, it's a so I already played the computer he ran 12 yards back. He was literally supposed to just stop and turn. And and instead, he ran good. back 12 yards. And they are on the board, but still trailing. It's seven to three. All right, so, so I played the computer once, uh, and then I like played the baby. Yeah, they were able to pick up a few first downs along the way, but they couldn't keep the momentum going all the way into the end zone. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. I'm in. I'm and no return on this one as the fair catch is signaled for and taken. And now Indianapolis set to take the field. They had the touchdown on the opening drive of the ball game. It was countered by just a field goal. So, hey, if your guys can do that for four quarters, you're in good shape. Yeah, it is a team game, so that's just good complimentary football. But, you know, I know I'm no brainiac, but you trade sixes for threes, things are going to work okay. out in your favor. On first and ten, oh, smash, smash one. Looking for grief, and it's intercepted. Picked off here, the third. Yes, yeah, smash, smash, and his guys are going to take smash, smash, fifty five, fifty five. Oh, timing is everything on a route like this. He tried to drive that football into a tight spot. And if you're a little early or a little late, chances are there's going to be someone there. And sure enough, this one's going the other I way. Believe, yeah. And a great spot to start this drive from here. At 
after the interception, here's Watson. It's complete to Fuller. And he's in. Touchdown, Houston. Will Fuller, his fifth touchdown now on the year. And the Texans are in for six. On for the extra point, Jake Elliott. And it's through, and that makes the lead 10-7. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. Here comes the Indianapolis offense now as they get set to take over. And last time, one play interception. So this offense, they should be fresh. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good way of putting it. And I can't wait to see what they decide to do with play calling because a one-play drive where you throw an interception, a lot of people think the very next time out, run the football, don't give them a chance. Maybe play action? I think maybe you go play action, show your quarterback, get a little confidence in him, and let him fling another one. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. It'll be a gain of 10 to start the drive out, and by a few inches, that'll be a first down. Tremendous blocking by the interior of the offensive line. They didn't just gash him there. They blasted a gaping hole for him to gallop through. I think if he comes back to the huddle, he better be giving them a whole lot of credit and thanking them for that much space to rumble. Throw left side complete. That's Graham. And all the way down to the 24-yard line. A huge play that time for the Colts. And even 40 yards. Hey, Tanner. Where are you at, Tanner? I'm out of your hiding spot. The handoff as they run the counter play. Breaks through the contact. Give me that fucking and he's going to be taken down here with a penalty flag. Hey, Tanner. Thank you, man. That's a good chunk of yardage. It's going to be canceled out. And we always talk about hidden yardage in a game. That's going to count as that because now it doesn't go on the books. So, now they have to make that up again, don't they? Question. Well, shit happens. Oh, he wants that Super Nintendo shit. Super, Super Nintendo Classic. Super Nintendo Sega Genesis. From the gun, here's Love. Now he'll dump it underneath when to his running back broke, complete. Man, and this time, yeah. he's yeah. to the 30, it'll be down. Yeah, everyone, the everyone knew what time it was, 2 o'clock. And it'll be a second and long. My, my brother has two. He has one for himself. He has one for himself. And he modded it. A shotgun snap for and then he got another one. He's going to mod that one and give it to uh, my brother in law. A lot of tight ends just use their size and their strength, try to occupy some space and kind of body people away and catch the football. But not this guy. He's a refined route runner. Hey, Tanner. He took some dance classes in his background. With his about, did you hear back about the, that owner? <sighs> Throwing on third down, Lock. Now they go screen, it's complete. And he gets the first down yardage before he's brought yeah, down just think he's outside the 10 at the 11. Another good reception there, the Colts on the march. Trevi Bell. has been either Jimmy Graham or his running back. <laughs> Now a play fake here on first down. And it's caught. 
And oh, look at that. Jimmy Graham again. Tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little game. Give him nine there on the first down completion. I know the halftime's approaching, but I don't think Looks he's like going to want to take a break. Up, uh, That's his fifth catch. Yeah, they've really been there, targeting man. the tight end. I know that he's literally thrown to Jimmy Graham or his running back all game. He hasn't completed a single pass to his wide receivers. I don't think he's thrown to his wide receivers this whole fucking game. Now a handoff here to his running back. And he takes it in for a <laughs> <score>. <laughs> hell yeah. Play there. His fifth touchdown now like. on the year. And the Colts are in for six. I will, we boot some of that you don't like. Aha! Uh -huh. I know there's someone in that. I know someone in that. Well, JD's one of them. How are we going to slow down this running game? Because on that particular play, they had no answer. Around the NFL, okay. we've got a second quarter score. And it's the Bears who are off to the early lead. And we'll keep you abreast of how that one shakes out. That'll be taken in the end zone. And he'll take it back to about the 19-yard we'll line. We'll go on and quote it. And now out comes Houston. Last time they were out, they scored. Still trailing here, though, so some work to do. But it's okay in terms of... <laughs> because they scored wow, the last time, kiss, they're not quite as worried about being down on the scoreboard because now their confidence is. is a little bit higher. He is a kiss they ass. Like I like got it. something going, and if like they can attack again and put more points on the board. Are you scoreboard watching if you're the offense, or are you just focused on this drive? It, it, we wouldn't be telling the truth if we said that they didn't scoreboard watch. Everyone does it to some extent. But you've got to set it aside right now and just focus on this series. That'll take care of the scoreboard if they punch it into the end zone. They get 14 on that one. Good for a Houston first down. Those are the kinds of plays right there that show you why he's the number three man of the NFL in terms of receiving yards. Also tells you there's a full combination of what he's got going in his game. You name it from route running to catching the football. That's why he's able to produce those types of numbers. Here's Gallman trying to bounce it outside, but he's only able to get it back to the line of scrimmage. Starts in the game at the moment. No gain on the play there. Second down. Then he got off the end there very quickly to make that play. Yeah, it was almost like the bullet train, wasn't it? I mean, just zoom. Quick, quick, quick. And what a terrific play. Holding them to no gain. Ask me no questions, so then I may tell you no lies. To throw on second is Watson. And his throw is going to be incomplete. They were trying to get the connection with a former Buckeye, Braxton Miller. And it's third down. The one thing that I've liked defensively is that they've shown him a lot of different looks here in the first half. They've come after him. Mm -hmm. They've sat back. I think that's what you need to do to keep an offense guessing. And they certainly have kept him on the their toes. That's why yes they for haven't it, had much success on the scoreboard. The elation of the knowledge that James Ellsworth will never be on our Ten goddamn to go on again. Third. He will be a world champion somewhere. Yeah, out of the gun, Watson. Somewhere where I don't have to watch the bitch. And incomplete. Fuck. The contact made the ball roam free and brings up fourth down. I can't believe he dropped that fucking well, ball. Well, they've had a pretty frustrating four, first half here offensively four. and then just continued there with that incompletion. Yeah, definitely frustrating for them, but heartening for the other guys. Those stop troops, they're enjoying things right now because they've made it very difficult for them throughout the half. What a be? Here you say. This is away and a very good kick angled for the sidelines. And now Indianapolis set to take the field. Oh, yeah. wow. And that last drive, a long drive, but not just that. They had a great air attack going. Do they stick with that? Who are you playing? I would think that they well, would because if they were confident enough to do it on the what last the drive, round? starting backed up in their own territory, uh, why would you change anything? They've got to be confident about what they're presenting and continue to do so. Yeah, because the secondary, they really look clueless. 
And that was amazing because that drive went and went. No adjustments and no big plays by the defense to knock the ball away. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out. Incomplete. So he can't hang on, and as I watch that unfold, I remembered an expression that I've heard, maybe from you, I don't know, but you're going to get hit anyways, might as well hold on to the ball. Right, you know a coach <laughs> said that, right? Yeah. Not an actual player, not a no chance at all. Way easier said than done. And to give this time to the tailback. And they take him down, losing yardage back at the 27. They'll lose a yard, and it brings up third. Two minutes remain here in the first half. We'll come back to Indianapolis right after this. Sunday in the NFL. They're in the second quarter in Detroit. And it's the Bears who are off to the early lead. I have a feeling that one's going to stay tight throughout. We'll no, that'd be you. And he'll give it here to his running back. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. Sometimes play calls boil down to philosophy. You know you're facing one of the top 10 units against the run in the NFL. So do you decide to keep smashing against them? Or do you decide to yes, throw the ball here? Yes, she's I couldn't immediately jump from number eight to number Here's luck now on second down. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And he'll take it down here just shy of the 15 That's at the 16 yard line. That throw good for only a couple and brings up third down. They probably have a stronger instead, strength of schedule than as they get it right at the 32nd mark of this first half. Number one now, I'm saying going into it though. First and goal from the five. As they run the counter play, a good display of power, but I ultimately sure it gets him get just inside the, the five to the four and no further. And before this second down play, we'll get a whistle, a signal, and a timeout. As they'll stop the clock with 26 wow. seconds to go until halftime. Just shy of the goal line at about the one. And now prior to this third and one, we're going to get a timeout here. As the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go here in the first half. Now why is that, Will Bill? Today, a perfect three for three as they look to keep that streak going. They're looking at a third and goal here. They usually post mine either Friday or Saturday.
Yeah. Now a handoff here to his running back. And he'll actually lose a little bit of yardage here. Back to the two. A loss of a yard, and it brings up fourth. Now this feels like old school football because this has turned into a good old-fashioned goal line stand. So on offense, what do you do now? Do you decide to run it or throw it if you go for it on fourth down? And the 11 year Christmas Eve, we're open to six. Elsewhere on this Sunday in the NFL, they're in the second quarter in Detroit. And it's the Bears who are off to the early lead. That one tight to this point, and you'd have to imagine it'll stay tight throughout. That's fielded in the end zone. And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half, he'll just take a knee and they'll bring oh, the football out to the advantage. 25. Rob Heading out as the anyway. Texans offense yep. as they get set to take over here. And from this spot in the field with the clock where it's at, you think we're just going to see a knee and that's it? And I think in this situation, that's the proper play. But we do know there's some risk takers out there that may want to take one more shot before the clock runs out. Oh, this defensive tackle is shit. The drive oh, what else is there? So, and before we could even hear from Larry, we're back and ready to go in week five. So both teams have their marching orders, and we'll get going again here in quarter number three. That'll be taken in the end zone. And the Texans set to come onto the field. They're close, close game, but they're going to need to do a little bit better probably here in half two, no? I would agree with that totally. I would guess it in the oh, locker man. They talked about cleaning up some of the errors, but overall, I think they wanted to be positive with them. Guys, oh, we're I just right realized there, why just JD not playing was so as well as we need to. You, uh, Let's pick it up, Justin. and we still have a chance to win this game. Yeah, they do. We'll see if they, they can pick it up. Week. He hates him now. Yeah, I got that. You know, if they were still on the same page, he'd be leading the fucking charge. No, no, J J D. The power's gone to your head. La la la. No, J J D hates Justin. Wow. I know our vantage point might be a little bit better way up here, but that looked like an ill-advised throw to me. I didn't see anything open, and this play just didn't look right from the beginning. It did not. I thought he might get outside and just chuck it away. Dangerous pass, incomplete. Second down here after the incomplete pass. Come on, let's go. Watson. Well, I Throwing mean, again is Watson. It, uh, I, on the ground. Well, we all we all know. Thirty-five, right at the thirty-four here. The reception, good for seven. It's third down. No, I mean, ju Justin in the chat today took some shots at uh, Billy and um, and Tanner. He obviously, I, I was in the party chat with. Uh, uh, Tanner, I'm like, yep, that's definitely uh, Justin taking shots at Billy, because he said like cheesy poops or fucking shit like that. Watson on third down. Oh yeah, my but God, he's, like, I, he's like, I ain't gonna say no names. The the Don't be a personal pack. Looks like they're just totally out of sync, whether they're running the ball, passing the ball like we saw there. I don't know, the rhythm seems off. Here's Jordan Berry now. <laughs> as he'll punt it away Damn, for the second man. time. Had a guy wide open in the middle of the field and Watson overthrows it behind him. Returnable for Lockett. I'm trying that 51 yards on the punt there. And the Colts will go on offense here, first and ten. Now we take a glance at the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second mm -hmm. half. They have the lead here. What well, we talk a lot about pregame speeches. What are oh, halftime speeches favorite. like? For the most part, not nearly as emotional. They're a lot more clinical. 
Every now and then, though, they'll get after you if they think they need to light a fire. But in this case, let's go into the virtual locker room, because here's what I think happened. They got in there and they said, listen, let's take control right away. Yeah, Defense, we've got the lead. Yeah. The de the, the lead. Defense, don't give up any points. Turn the ball back over to the offense and let them go down and score and give us more of a cushion in the game. Check so far. So Defense shut them down. That let's see if the offense need. gets done. Second down now after the incompletion. Hey, hey, right. So again, you, too, you buy, you're still spending more money than you're getting back for that. They'll fake the handoff. Oh, back. I get it if you didn't have a PS4. You know, if your PS4 had died. We missed you. That makes sense. <laughs> Where'd you go? Where have you been? Seriously. Fucking Jimmy Graham. Fucking Jimmy Graham. Everything goes. So after that big play, let's see if they can catch their defense maybe on their heels. One thing I think should happen is all discipline should be shared with the entire group. Two reasons: one, consistency, and two, example being made of those who break the rules. Ah, those dummies in the commission group would never go for it because it's the right Tough direction. There, that's a hard earn four yards. Yeah, those are the unsung kind of runs. They don't fill up the stat sheet, but they do set you up in good position on second down. Of course he does, because he's a nosy faggot. Six yards to go here on Fuck second him. down. Yeah. He, he wanted to know what was what happened uh, his... with fucking punishment is between the punished and us. Yeah, he was. He wanted. He wants it. He wants. Yeah. He, he wanted wants to, to know, know how long. long. That's the way he's always fucking been. Yep. He wanted to know how long John Ross was in the. Uh, I don't think you're being overly critical mm -hmm. there. You're just analyzing it. and He kept on calling him right, Justine. Pass will go from Justine. <laughs> Justine. <laughs> <laughs> the Colts third down. They've been good. Three for four thus mm -hmm. far. This will be third and six. He's like, there, people only have one chance with me, and that's it. Throwing his lock. And they're going to get him. He's okay, taken I'll down take for a sack. Back at the 47-yard line. J.J. Watt. He's the one that gets him down. It'll be a loss of five, and it'll bring up fourth down. The Colts send out their punter as he's on to punt for the first time this afternoon. He only punted twice in the win last week as he gets this one away. Yeah, he was looking for the checkup bounce, didn't get it. That scoots all the way into the end zone now for a touchback. The Texans offense now, they get set to head back on the field here. And a tight game after punting last time. See if they can get something going on this drive. As they head to the field now, with the game this close, you've got to feel there's a sense of urgency for them going on offense right now. But they have to do it without letting panic creep in and affect their play. Watson on first down. The Colts are going to get him. Down he goes. The game plan for any defense is finding ways to make a quarterback uncomfortable in the pocket. When you bring pressure from all angles, you never know who's going to get home. In this case, yeah, the left Friday, cornerback Friday, right in the face of him puts him down. Second down, here's Watson. Oh my god! Taken down. So the fucking ball, you piece of shit! The hate is real. Yeah, we still don't know. Like, even the employees, we don't know. I think we have no fucking idea. What the hell is GameStop doing? I don't know. That's the problem. Gonna need something special here on third and long after that sack. What is Watson what, and what his is... arsenal? A shotgun oh, yeah. It just running you out of business. Aha. Uh Picked off near the 29. And he is gonna get this one back to the 20-yard line. 
obviously backed up. Had a little bit of space from the goal yeah. line, snapping it from the three, but still trying to throw it. And yeah, exactly. If this is where hindsight is 2020 comes into play, right? Seems like a good idea to throw the ball there. Maybe you'll surprise him and catch him off guard. Instead, you've created a turnover and put your defense in a bad spot. Hell yeah. And now here's a carry heading left. And able to fight forward inside the 15 I've never actually the 13. The game. It's a seven yard carry to set them up. Like I said, I'm aware three. that it is a game, but no I've never seen it. it on any but game. the question is, is Billy play it? I have Billy play it. Game, an Xbox down, game, a PC the game. Bill. What the fuck Second is down it? Following the run. Yeah. Oh, he don't play scary games, that's why. Uh, it's a PC game. Off of play action. Luck. Flushed out right. He's going to flip one out here to his yeah. running back. And he'll be brought down this time at the five yard line. It's an eight yard pickup, and it leads to a first can, goal. Emily wants to play now. That's a good game. pressure on him, but he's able okay. to flush out to his right to try and evade people. On the run, had to get on his horse. Still accurately throws a nice pass for which, first down. Which one? First down and goal. The offense yeah. knocking on the door. Oh, the Paper Mario color splash. And he'll give it here to his running back. And not a whole lot there. He does get a couple taking I'm it from sure the five down to the three. Star Fox 64 was just a remake well, of the original always know Star Fox. Once you score one touchdown, they've made the same to. game five <laughs> Without times. Without a doubt. And so far today, he's got one. Oh. But was denied as he tried to get the second one. Eh. I prefer Star Fox Adventures from the 64. Same game. Is it really the same game? Did it. On the run, it's Robert Turbin. And he's going to get this back to the three-yard line and no further. No gain on the play there. They're going to need to come up with something better here on third and goal. Mario Party is actually fun. This offense so far on third down, they've converted three out of five thus far. This is third and goal. Now it's locked. And he'll be brought Why? down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one yard line. You no, know, that game is a actually a game to of keep the him year. out of the end zone. And now it'll be fourth and goal. No, nah, breath of the wild. 30 dollars. So out comes a field goal team now for the second time here of, today. Of what the, the fuck the game is right now. A tight angle. And Fultz kick is good. But wait up now, a flag Jeez. is down. If this is on the defense, you peep the shit. Get the first. Well, we looked at each other right away. Oh we knew my. that flag was coming out. And I always enjoy the conversation post because Dude. officials always tell you, I yeah. don't want to throw the flag. I mean, but you call I'll tell you, you what, did it. And rather than take the three points, I'm going to go for it anyway. You guys ain't going to play with you with you calling them names. Now a handoff here to his running back. I'm not calling my yeah, team no names. I'm calling yet. Kirby Bill. Oh, well, that's, that's a different one. story. No for a different day. Play, it's going to be second and goal. You can personal attack my nuts. And here comes play number six on this drive. They come out with one back and three tight ends. I tried no a quarterback the sneak. Kind of a wasted play oh, there, and now me. it's third down. I'll tell you what, Darth. Here, my kingdom don't, for a yard. Don't say that too sneak. loud. Nothing doing. Better you be careful. Shakespeare might sue you. Yeah, he might come get me, right? Good luck with that bar. Shark will, shark will pounce on that. And now here's third and goal. Ha! Uh, give this time to the tail. And I still and stop it. Go goal line court. stand twice they in a row because you're line. a fuck boy. Back now here on EA Sports. It's the cold side. Right. How could you not get in the fucking end zone? We Three shots fourth. from the one yard line. You Pussy. Should have took the fucking point. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. This to make it a two-score game. And Folk's kick is good. I can't and stand people like that. There. That makes our really score can't. 20 to 10. So his second field goal of the game, and that could turn out to be the big one. Yeah, you have to make him score twice to beat you, and that's not impossible. But here in the fucking CPU quarter, ran into his kicker, against the wall. and he, instead of taking the three points, oh, he the... fucking decides, "Oh, I'm gonna accept it." So it's first I'm gonna take my shower tonight, shave. 
I still fucking stopped them. Fucking what, face. shave? The kickoff team on the field now as they will Rob. send this one away. Well, I'm leaving early in the morning. I'm going to a bunch of retro Gets game stores. In the end zone. Before I go to work. Hell yeah. And yeah, he's able to get it across the 20, but not by much, as he's marked down at the 21-yard line. And now out comes Houston. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive, or no, you just throw that out the window? I think you are. I don't think that there's <sighs> any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense mm -hmm. at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack them here. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. Hey, the wrong this throw question. here's incomplete. Yeah, I'd rather be and it is beat. true. You can draft the fastest. You can draft the most athletic guys. But if they don't know the art of positioning, sometimes it's all for naught. In this case, in the right spot, ah, of course the incompletion. Really cool yeah, had his hands on really it for cool. a second. Would have been a tough catch, though. Falls incomplete. I think he finally understands Possible that. Possible run the anticipation here is the D line sandwiches together. I do once in a while. Now Watson, and he'll be brought down by and the Colts. And now my fucking O line won't John stand up. Simon, leading the surge there, he drops him for a loss and of six. And it's third and long, so that means man up three deep. Oh yeah. Okay, thank you for that uh, kick return on your practice Gonna need something special here on third and long. And After SMB. that sack, what does Watson have in his arsenal? Some fast receiver. From the gun, here's Watson. Going deep for Hopkins. And he couldn't hang on to it through the contact. Incomplete. This defense oh. was definitely alert to the possibility of the deep ball. And they were more than ready for it. Uh, there was a nice receiver. I was like, yep, Maybe I need a new kicker turn. Like Since mine died. I'm like, he's fast, so. Here's yeah. Jordan Berry now. As the I'll take him. Goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. Hell yeah. Now it's Lockett. Oh, he slipped right by him. Nice job bringing that one back. 14. And possession will switch hands. Uh oh, Taren. And, Taren. And, and, and what's his face? about to go down to first. The field. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. Nine and game. When you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly Eaten, right. Uh, whoever you're about to play is well, about to go home, get home soon. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. Well, Brandon Pace comes into play now because they've got the advantage. They've got the football. But they've got to be very careful about what speed they're going to play. You know, my, my music teacher back in New Man. Paltz, Mrs. Bythema Bagley, used to say, don't go prestissimo when you really want to go largo. And what she meant by that yeah. is don't yes, go sir. too fast when you really want to go at a nice, slow, deliberate pace. I am speechless. I am without speech. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, man. Down. Here's Long. He might legitimately cry. Under pressure and down he goes. Luck is sacked. Lawrence Guy. Coming hard the pitch time. pushed me out of bounds. Run him down for a loss of 12. No bark. No bark. I said I was going to leave, but look at me. I came back. There's that fag. The Colts looking for something big here after the sack. Oh this is third and long. Here's Lock. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. He won't go down. <laughs> and he's taken down, but not before getting hey, this man. Third down. This motherfucker only throws screen passes. A pickup of 24 on the third down conversion. Granted. 
I wasn't actually holding the controller, so I can't really blame that on anything. And he'll give it here to his running back. And the lane closes up quickly as he'll get about three down to the 38. Offensively with the lead, you want to run the ball, keep the clock going, but you also want to still kind of be in attack mode too, right? So how do you do that and not come back on your heels? Yeah, think about all the practices we've watched where they have that tempo period to go over things just like this, where they describe the scenario, tell you what they're looking for. And probably sure looking up ways to remove a couple of ribs so he can suck his own dick. So fast as to leave too much time on the clock. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. 16 Shark's not even around. There. The Colts have a first down. Shark's busy. So the run gets him the first, and I am, operate with a like fresh I'm going to take my first loss in uh, uh, who, uh, who, who are you here? They'll run it down with Turbin. Looking to find a lane, but he can't Shark, lay in at yeah, the Shark's line not of even scrimmage. Here. Officially no gain on the play. You probably hear my TV. Down. And in this situation with the lead fourth quarter, they're liking keeping the ball on the ground, I'm sure. That's just smart football, but you know the defense has to the day Walker well. has shitty connection. What are you talking about? So now we're going to see that loading the box in a big yeah. Six, seven, eight, nine, whatever it's going to take. puts a little bit more pressure on your big offensive line. Back-to-back -back stops make it third and ten. But he was stopped on that play. But he's had plenty of carries all afternoon. Every now and then the defense is going to win one, but I don't think they'll shy away from handing it to him the rest of the game. The Colts on third down. They're at 50%, four for eight. This is third and ten. He stiff arms him, and now running right through him. And he was able to shed the tackle, but the reserves come in for the stop. Yeah. Only a yard on the pick up there, and it's going to leave him with a fourth down. He'll, he'll give up. He'll give up after going to nothing. Out trots the kicker in a big spot here. From the right hash, it's a 38-yard attempt. And Folk's kick is good. But now there is a penalty marker on the field. So oh let's see my this is God! About. Take the point. They're down here in the fourth, and that personal foul penalty is not going to help. No, in these types of situations, again. players he did it will again. tell you that's extra intensity. From where we sit, it's actually frustration, not a good play. First this down and ten now for the offensive again. group. What? One for it again? Yeah, fucking running into the kicker. And again, it's Turbin. And to find a lane, but I guess he didn't technically accept it, but he didn't decline no it either. No gain on the play there. And you know, you only have down. X amount of time to make the a decision for automatically. They, the they want to keep it on the ground. That's what they're doing. Smart football. Keep the clock grinding. Keep it going. But you got to figure now Ran they're going to see more people stacked up in the line of scrimmage as they try and bleed it out. Time for a break. We're back to finish this one off um, yeah, after this. Over. Fucking dove, missed the ball, missed the kicker, but somehow there's a flag called. I don't know if the kicker landed on my guy or what. They run with Turbin, and here's another tackle made at the line, so they're converging well on the football now. Back to back stops make it third and ten. The Colts on third down, not quite 50%, four for nine. This is third and ten. Go, Ray. They'll run here with Turbin. Yeah. No gain on the play there, and it'll bring up fourth down. One of the things I love about this game is there's a match of wits throughout the game. Who's going to get the advantage? Who's going to catch someone off guard? It's like the offense thought they might catch the defense off balance with that play call, but unfortunately, that didn't work for them. They have gone to the fourth quarter, by the way, in that game in Cleveland. Now you saw the score at the bottom of your screen a moment ago. We got a good one going on there. A win would be their second on the young season. So they settle for just the three there, but clearly anything helps when you're trying to salt one away here in the fourth. Without a doubt, I think a touchdown would have been the final nail. 
but three does give him some breathing room and lets him build up a little cushion. That'll be taken in the end zone. And the decision to come out is going to cost him five as he's taken down right at the 20. And now out comes Houston. And on the last go around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means you're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency, move the ball at least a few times on offense, get a couple of first downs, and hopefully flip the field. Yeah, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. They go play action here on first down. On the right side, this is Miller. And that time he's smothered as he's wrestled down. Give him 30 yards there. First down now, but that clock rolling. The defensive line disperses a little bit here, maybe expecting a pass. And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. Now before the second down play, we'll get whistles and a timeout. As he'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the game. Here's Watson now on second down. Fuller brings it in over the middle. And he is going to be knocked flat on his back. Oh, a big hit at the 36. And a nice gain of 21 yards. On first down, Watson. This will be caught inside the 10. Touchdown, Houston. DeAndre Hopkins. His fourth touchdown on the year. And the Texans have cut it to within a score. Okay, game on. Don't go anywhere yet. You've got a one-score game now. Probably going to rely on the onside kick coming up. Yeah, they have to. It's not a high percentage play, but it's better than not having a chance at all. And that's when you put your leapers and your flyers on one side, get that high hop, and hope that one of the guys can come up with it. And on the other side, get that hands team ready. No doubt about it. And this is going to be recovered by the hand team. And that should just about put a capper on this one. Well, fourth quarter, they felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And I know we brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it, they do actually recover that the bullshit. ball, which is what Missed we saw with here. It. I just wonder if that number is much more of an anecdotal type of a number. Kind of like when the coaches tell us, well, when you score on special teams, 93% of the time you win the game. I'm still waiting to see that number is empirical. I get in bed with a chick and she musty. We gonna fight. It's just a fact of life. She gotta throw hands. And Charles, I think when the schedule comes out, all teams, no matter where they're predicted to finish, talk about protecting your home turf. They were able to do that here in this one. Similar to a tennis match, right? Not letting them break your serve. That way you hold on to it. They got it done, and they feel very good about that victory. So for the Colts, they move back over 500 at 3-2 and two now on the year. And they will hit the road next week for a date with the New England Patriots. Meanwhile, for the Texans, it was a good first month, but they'll fall to 4-1 as they suffer their first loss. And perhaps fortunately for them, they'll get an early bye We're next week and come probably. back to action in Week 7. Bill plays on rookie. Well, I have lost my first game in SNB. Drops me down to a tie with MJ Dillhole. I'm not, uh, hey, I'm not undefeated either. Pissed off that I have to share the same air with you. So X gun and Ben yeah. are all unbeaten.
He ain't going to use him right. He only going to throw it to him four yards down the field, fucking bitch. 